Sister asked a question that there was an article that came in Times of India, Hazrat Aisha Mellah, which was 19 and not 9, when she got married. Can I throw some light on that? If you read the hadith in Bukhari, which says, Hazrat Aisha Mellah, which is with her, she was married to the Prophet at the age of six, and the marriage was consummated at the age of nine. Now, there are many so called modern scholars who feel that it's not possible. That is the reason they try and justify. And they say that actually, the statement is 19, because in Arabic, we add an ashra. So this is ashra, the 10 is missing. We said 10, 9 for 19. So the 10 is missing, therefore it sounds to be 9. Actually, it should be 19. This is the assumption. But what we believe, that after the Quran, Alhamdulillah, is the saying of the Prophet Muhammad And we have to check whether the hadith is sahih or not. And we realize that this hadith of Sahih Bukhari, and Alhamdulillah, it's authentic hadith. But how can we logically prove today? Now, those scholars, inverted commas, who when they cannot prove logically any part of the Quran and the Hadith, they try and say there is some mistake in the assumption and the meaning is different, etc. What we have to realize that first we have to check whether the Hadith is authentic or not. If it's authentic, if we cannot prove it logically, we have to feel and we have to understand that the science hasn't advanced so much to try and make us understand that Hadith of the verse of the Quran. So based on this again, what I believe that the Hadith is authentic, and even the age of six and nine is authentic. And how to justify that? When I was in the medical college, I passed in 1991. And in the 80s, we were taught in the medical college that a lady, she reaches puberty and adulthood, maturity, at the age of approximately, in India, it is about 13 to 14, 15. In America, it's about 12 to 13. And the age factor of the puberty keeps on changing depending upon the atmosphere, depending upon the surrounding, depending upon the diet, depending upon the climate. Today, medical science tells us that closer to the equator, the age of puberty is earlier. This is one point of it. And today, after science advanced, we have come to know that because of the change in the atmosphere and the surrounding and the diet itself, today, in America, as well as in India, there are cases in which there are sisters Mashallah, girls, at the age of 10, they reach puberty. They start having menstrual cycle. And today medical science tells us that if any lady starts a menstrual cycle, at the age of 10, it is nothing unique. It's quite common. Though the age of menstruation today has become a bit less, approximately 12, 13, 14. But even if a girl starts menstruating at the age of 10, even 9, it's nothing to be alarmed of. If the age of menstruation is below the age of nine, then there is a concern. So based on this scientific fact that we have come to know today, according to the Islamic Sharia, moment a lady reaches puberty and a gent reaches puberty, they can marry. Every country has its own law. For example, the law of India is that when a girl reaches the age of 18, they can marry. The law in USA is at the age of 16. The law in Indonesia is 19. So for example, if a couple get married in America who are of the age of 16. So in America it's legal. But in India it's illegal. Now why has India chosen 18 and America chosen 16? We don't know. And there's a state in America called Texas where coming down generations that it's common to marry early. So therefore in Texas state alone, even if the girl or the boy, they are of the age of 14, they can marry, it's legal. So there's a separate law for Texas because that's the society. So at the age of 14, if a girl or boy living in Texas marries, it's legal. What's illegal in India is legal in America. What is legal in India is illegal in Indonesia or Malaysia. So what we realize that everyone has his own criteria. As far as the Islamic criteria is concerned, I told you that once a girl or a boy reach the age of puberty, when they get matured, they can marry. So based on this, Alhamdulillah, what we realize, Hazrat Aisha Malla, we pleased with her. She was unique. And when we read the life history of Hazrat Aisha Malla, we pleased with her. She was very intelligent. She was very matured. And Alhamdulillah, MashaAllah, because of that, we know that many ahadith are narrated by the wife of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There are some people who say that fine, she could have married for another 10 years and then got married. Some of the Orientalists some of the so-called modern Muslim scholars. If she had waited for another 10 years, we know 
that after the Prophet married her, the Prophet hardly lived for 10 years. So if she married after that, she wouldn't be able to narrate the hadith that we know. So because she was intelligent, she was matured enough, alhamdulillah, I feel medically and scientifically and Islamically, a marriage can be at the age of nine. Once a lady is matured, it's perfectly fine, alhamdulillah. Hope that answers the question, sister.